His work ethic, his commitment to being an elite player, the standard of how you go about your business, how he treats everyone within the program. I think that's really important here. Yeah, let's be ready to go, boys. Let's play with a ton of energy today. Let's have fun out there. Go green on three. One, two, three. Go green. We're trying to establish a culture here of how you treat people. And whether we win or lose, uh, whether he plays well or not, he's an even keel guy. And I think he's got perspective, too. It hasn't always been easy. Having all those qualities rubbing off on our program is big time. There's the power play goal. Muka. Miroslav Muka, the captain, ties it up. I was three years old when I had my skates on for my first time on and probably by the year five I was skating with a team and I think the biggest part when my parents were like yeah we want him in hockey was when the Slovakian team won the world championships in 2002. Hockey is a very popular sport in Slovakia and to win a tournament like that is very special for our country. To beat countries like Canada, us little Slovakia that has only like 5 million people, it was a big deal and people were definitely influenced by that. The facility I was playing at the year before I came to the United States was an hour away from my town and it didn't really make sense for me to drive up and down every day since I went to school in that town as well. I ended up getting an apartment. I think I was 14. It was always my dream to come to play in America, so my dad decided with my mom that it would be best for my development to try living by myself. And I think that was a big part for me before moving over here. It definitely helped me grow up and use the time management a little better, like figuring out when to go get groceries, when you have to go to school and spend the time at school, and then you know that you have to go practice right away and you'll be hungry right after practice, so you have to have something prepared. Jaloga immer noch, dann kommt der Pass! Und das Tor durch Miroslav. When I was in high school, we played in uh, Dallas in Texas where I probably would never end up ever in my life. So it was, it was very cool to see that part of the world. I also was in Helsinki in Finland. I was fortunate enough to go to Alaska probably three, four times. And that's a beautiful part of the world. Like the nature there is something that you don't see daily. And I'm very thankful for that. Just inside the states, like Minnesota, California was a big part too. We had a national tournament there for high school, so that was that was a very cool experience as well. The United States has the best hockey league in the world. It was always my goal to come here and play in the NHL, so that was one of the main reasons I wanted to come here and, and explore this country a little more. And then later on I got into my thoughts of playing college hockey, which made a lot of sense to me that you could play hockey at a very high level and get a very high education that's very well known all over the world. You can use this education anywhere you want. When I first started coaching at Shattuck, Miro was a junior. I was responsible for doing the skill work with the, all the players in the program. So he was the guy, though, that wanted to meet me there early in the morning. I think we'd go at like 6 a.m. He was the only guy out there to start. Got an infectious personality, and, and he's got to drive to get better. And by the end of it, you know, we might have 30, 40 kids out there early in the morning. He wasn't even my coach and he was trying to develop my game like I was on his team. So I thought that was a very cool mindset of his that he would always was willing to help guys get better. I really liked him and I always was like, oh, I wish I could play for this guy one year. We moved on to juniors and Lake State after that. The puck control by the Mavs again, stolen away, scored! Lakers put it in, Muka, and that ends Dryden McKay's shutout. Yeah, here we go, day one. I decided that I want to try my luck at the portal, and uh, I think it was the May 13th, it was very late. I got reached out by Adam Nightingale, and I was very surprised. At first, I was like, oh, he probably just wants to catch up. And then as soon as I like put two and two together, I was like, oh, no way, that would be awesome to play for him. I called him right away, and I knew that, you know, you get an opportunity like this, it's about getting the best people, and, and people that you know are going to believe in doing it the right way, going to treat people the right way, going to represent Michigan State the right way. I was almost sold as soon as I saw the number that called me. 
took me over for a visit and I visited this fabulous facilities here and I was sold right away and ended up signing here literally thing like two days after I entered the portal. So it was, it was a very quick decision for me there. As it slips loose, Mueller, Come on. centering pass out front, back oh, and try, goal! The Spartans score early, and it's the captain, Miro Muka. It means a lot, like I'm, I'm super grateful. I mean, there's a lot of guys on this team that deserve to wear a C, but I'm very happy that we have this group of guys here that have played so many years in this league, and, and I think that makes it very easy on me to be a leader on this team, because I think there's five, six guys that are great leaders, and when we lead as a group, I think that is uh, more powerful than just one guy, so, so it's an awesome opportunity. At the end of the day, that's a big responsibility. And sometimes players think it's a glamorous thing, and the reality is leadership's really hard, and you got to be willing to do the right thing all the time and have tough conversations at times. And we were fully confident in his ability to do that, and he has done it. I went home in the summer for a quick weekend. We had like a little break in between the summer training and the season and I showed my parents and like my family all this cool facilities we have here and they decided that they want to come. So there's I think eight of them that came to, to a series which is uh, financially very hard for like to fly over here and, and none of them really spoke much English. So it was, it was hard for them to survive here. Getting on the ice and you, you look in the stands and you see Slovakian colors, you see Slovakian people cheering for you. It was a special night for sure and I, I really appreciate that uh, they sacrificed uh, their time and, and money to come and watch me play. Yes! Oh, how about that? Well, he'll remember that one. You always remember your first goal as a Spartan. Spartans keep it in off the draw. Hey! Goal for Michigan State. That one, no question. Miroslav Muka yeah. gives the Spartans the lead. It's awesome, especially when your parents come, and I'm very grateful that it happened. And uh, it was a lot of good efforts out there. The guys played really well, and uh, I was lucky to get rewarded. But um, it wasn't just me out there. It was uh, a lot, a lot of great efforts that went into it. Desať rokov alebo 12 rokov hrania hokeja dokázal veľmi veľa. Som veľmi hrdý na ňo za to, čo dokázal. A prijal by som si, aby hral v NHL. A myslím si, že na to pracoval veľmi tvrdo, aby sa dostal do NHL týmu. Miro's really got perspective, and that's important. He was at a smaller school before, and then to, to come here and to see all the resources you know they have, and growing up in Slovakia, and then now to be able to play at Monty, seen a variety of different rinks, you know. So I just think because he's traveled so much, really perspective, and I think when he got on campus here, he could tell this is a real special spot. I always say that hockey players are very powerful, even after they leave the game of hockey. And uh, I think the main purpose for that is we know how to work in teams. Like you get so many friendships from here. Like the, the amount of people I've met over the last 10 years is, is crazy. I'm always trying to keep those contacts because you never know when you'll need them. And even like the language, like for me, English is the most used language around the world. And if there wasn't hockey, I don't think I would be able to get to as fluent as I am in English if I didn't play hockey because hockey brought me over here. And even like traveling, seeing different places, that I don't think I would be able to do that without hockey as well. To be a part of this culture means a lot to me because I feel like once you're a Spartan, you're always a Spartan. And even the cool thing is that 20 years from now, you turn on the TV and you see the Spartans play, you feel like you've been there just yesterday and you, you cheer on a football team or basketball team or the hockey team. And no matter what sport it is, you're in it together and it's always go green.